we're in this is the main gate of the power bank plant let's see where it all begins for the apple company you can hear the gate behind me and that hum is the morning shipping run starting up these are the lithium ion cells the heart of the power bank every unit needs perfect cells before anything else the raw materials shells battery cells circuit boards it's like the very first puzzle pieces for each power bank Check this out. This is where the magic really starts. The assembly hall. Let's go inside carefully. This machine is placing every tiny component, resistors, capacitors onto the PCB. Every little part needs precision. After placement, the boards go through soldering. Everyone's wearing protection. This part must be exact or the whole unit fails. This is QC. They test each board. One mistake, and that power bank could overheat. Safety is top priority. Here they make the housing, the shell you hold when you plug in your phone. Everything's made from scratch. Uh, This is where the battery cell is placed. The core packed inside the shell. Looks so fragile yet so powerful. Incredible! There are hundreds of units being assembled at once. It's like a power bank factory speed run in real life. Fresh housings, hot from molding. Just pulled. Next step, electronic board. They're doing thermal stress tests here, making sure the power bank won't overheat when in use. Very important for safety. After assembly, every unit is inspected for any visible flaws. Even a tiny scratch gets the unit rejected. Now the housing gets screwed shut. Precision again, loose screw, and the unit could fail. They don't take chances. But they pack each power bank carefully. Padding, box, bubble wrap. This is how it stays safe until you open it. In the Apple power bank factory. After all tests pass, every unit is labeled, numbered, and approved. Only then it's qualified for sale. Here's the drop test. Power banks on the move. This is the warehouse. Massive storage before. These units go out to retailers or shipping containers. These pallets are full of ready ship power banks. Think, one box might end up in your backpack soon. Here's where the workers take a break. Without them, this entire production would be nothing. Uh, real people behind real machines. But over there is the management control room. Where they plan production, track quality, shipments, big responsibility. Every box gets a barcode, so from factory to you, they know exactly where it went. Transparency matters. Even at dusk, work continues. Power banks going out day and night. It's past midnight, but factories like this. Don't sleep. Impressive and kind of humbling. That was the full from cell to power bank journey inside the factory. If you enjoyed this raw tour, hit like, subscribe, and let me know what you want next. Thanks for coming along. Hey guys, welcome to Oppo's 2025 smart manufacturing plant. Let's explore how smartphones are made. Made it to the registration desk. Oh, is it a badge, sir? Keep all electronics secure. Thank you. Got it. They actually collect the badge right here and check this out. No loose electronics past this point. I must wear this suit, gloves, and shoes to avoid static damage to components. Air shower to remove dust. Even a tiny particle can ruin a skin. This is where the phones brain. The motherboard. The PCB boards are fed into automated machines. Watch closely. This is the chip high speed placement line. Watch this head. It moves so fast the camera can barely follow. These SMT robots place resistors, capacitors, processors, all tiny parts on the PCB. 
PCB enters a reflow oven, solder melts and locks every chip in place permanently. This is our board number. Here we are running a three dimensional solder paste inspection. The system uses structured light to scan every pad and build a height map like this one. Blue means too low, red means too high. Resolution cameras scan the board for missing or misaligned components. Lines of light sweep across the surface while the system captures thousands of images in seconds. This monitor shows the underside of the chipset, every single solder ball hidden under the package. See this crosshair, it's scanning joint by joint. Clean room, every motherboard gets a meticulous dust removal. Workers use anti static brushes to sweep away particles, then compress air to clear what eyes can't see. Assembly start. Small parts like the speaker, microphone and vibration motor are attached into the middle frame. Speakers in. Ready for the mic. Copy. Bracket goes on and that's locked. First sub assembly is This is our bonding station. We glue the OLED to the cover glass in a vacuum. Zero bubbles allowed. I set it on the pins, adhesive side down and close the lid. The vacuum pulls everything flat. Watch the inside the assembly cell of our camera module. This is the main 50 megapixel lens, tiny but brilliant. Using vacuum tweezers, I lower it into the housing while the microscope tracks every micron. The alignment system locks onto center. Right, scene 19, battery installation. This lithium cell comes pre-coated with a safety adhesive. The warning right here means we can't bend or apply pressure when we seat it, so only gentle, even force along the edge. All ribbon cables connected. The PCB brain is screwed into the phone chassis safely. We are on the flashing floor where every handset gets its brain. Each phone here is connected to a hub through high speed lines, 40 gigabit pipes that push the Android system image in seconds. The blue bars you see. Rolling looks smooth. Latency reading 4.7 milliseconds. Nice. Running next unit. Solid pass. Display tested for tapping, scrolling, gestures. Lag is not tolerated. Back cover pressed tight. Perfect ceiling to protect from dust and water. Running 5G throughput at max load. Check the live antenna graph. We're holding about 470 megabits with barely any drop off. Wi Fi module sitting steady at 99.9% reliability. Camera and sensor calibration on the line. The phone's locked in the rig and we're under daylight panels. First up, autofocus. Watch it snap onto the chart in under a blink. The platform shakes, but the footage stays steady. Initiating speaker and mic test on the Oppo device. Think noise starting at 80 decibels. Mic diaphragm response at 96 dB. Watch the vibration. Here we go. Drop test, water spray, button pressing cycles. And after all that, phone survives tough abuse. This is packaging lines flying today. Robots pack phones with accessories in neat boxes. Boxes are moved into secure trucks for transport. And that's how Oppo smartphones are made in 2025. Amazing engineering.